I have a very young family and I want to encourage you at the next referendum to say no to dough. The government can't control pokey machines and liquor stores in our communities. How the hell are they going to control cannabis? Kia ora, I'm Pane Tafia from Ngati Poro. I would encourage you to vote no to dope. Tēnā rā tato katoa, ko Jade Hohaia tōku ingoa. I'm saying no nope to dope to protect our whakapapa. Our mokupuna, tamariki and rangatahi deserve better. Because we know that the cannabis industry is going to go after the most vulnerable communities. This is a real social justice issue. In my work as a counsellor, I see firsthand how cannabis addiction is destroying many lives, particularly among those who are in vulnerable communities. I'm really concerned about the mental health issues we have in New Zealand. I've seen many patients develop psychotic illness after smoking dope. Legalising marijuana for recreational use will simply add to this problem. It certainly has a, a killer punch. That's why I'm challenging you, encouraging you to vote nope to dope. Vote nope. Vote nope. Vote nope. For goodness sake, vote nope to dope. Please, vote nope to dope. So at the next referendum, don't take the risk. Vote no. What was your motivation for getting involved in this whole area in the first place? It was paying attention to what was actually going on around me. There's no question that cannabis can cause transient psychotic episodes. That's a, that's a diagnosis in the medical literature. I started really smoking marijuana when I was like 18. Um, I'd actually gone to university to, to study. I grew up in West Auckland, raised by my mum and stepfather. I'd been around marijuana as a kid in the 70s. I recognised the smell. Protect your country and uh, keep it a safe and healthy focus. Cannabis is not the solution to that. What we've seen overseas, we agree that we want to make sure people get access to the whole story. They're all important issues, but I think commercial marijuana legalization is very important. It's the most important because it's about creating a massive new industry that basically relies on addiction for profits. Look, I understand that there are some protections within the bill, but when you look at pokey machines, liquor stores and uh, loan sharks in our communities, there's broken models already operating in our communities. Former police officer Nick Tuitasi, now working for Family First New Zealand, is a strong advocate against the bill. The problem with the cannabis legalisation and control bill is that it normalises cannabis use. At the moment, um, the, the Yes campaign is saying war on drugs has been a complete failure. I beg to differ. I'm Aaron Ironside, spokesperson for Say Nope to Dope. And we're voting no in this referendum because firstly, medicinal cannabis is already legal. The evidence from Colorado also shows that the number of, of uh, younger people taking marijuana is dropping. No, it's it not true. Yes, it does. No, no, that'll be the smart... I want to bring Chloe... Is that wanna... the Smart Kids Colorado survey? Well, this is, I'm pretty no, sure it's... And, and that was shown to be as well. No, I want to bring Chloe back in here. Yeah. Can you visit this because this, not sure. we, this is a debate that's <laughs> going to be going on. The result is the price of cannabis goes down and more cannabis gets used and sold than ever before, including among our young. All right, thank you all for that. And now someone who's voting no. What I see is the effects of addiction, the effects of psychosis. Uh, unfortunately, the most vulnerable people to cannabis are young people. My biggest concern as principal of 17 years and working in high schools for 35 years is that we're being sold regulation as a silver bullet. What we do know is that when people take the time to find out the facts, they become no voters. Uh, joining us from the Say Nope to Dope campaign is counsellor and actually a former cannabis user, Aaron Ironside. And Aaron, prohibition has failed now for half a century in New Zealand. 
It's brought us a whole lot of problems. Isn't it time to try something different? Well, there's no doubt that prohibition has its failings, but only 15% of Kiwis use cannabis every year. So any law that deters 85% of us from doing something isn't all bad. And I know from my time as a user that it was prohibition that stopped me graduating from being a user to growing and selling cannabis. I'm Mary Daly, I'm a GP in Papakura, and I am going to vote no on the cannabis referendum. Cannabis is a harmful substance. It's associated with a whole lot of serious harms, you know, psychosis, mental health issues, depression, suicide, prenatal problems, fertility issues. The proponents of legalisation say we can reduce these harms by legalising. Well, that is absolutely not borne out by the evidence. <laughs> kids! Yeah, Mum! Yeah, Mum! Hop in the car, kids! We're going as soon as Dad's finished this joint. OK. Why doesn't he just smoke it in the car? That wouldn't be safe, darling. He needs to concentrate on his driving. Our families are too precious to be wasted. Don't take the risk of adult cannabis users setting a bad example for our kids. There's only one safe vote for all New Zealand. Vote no to dope in the cannabis referendum. Talo for lover. Malo elele. Yura. I'm from Winato Tai David Tour. I'm Winton Rufa. I'm Ifiso Collins. I'm Sally Pyre. My name is Imran Ali. I'm Mary Daly. I'm Aaron Ironside. My name's Dave Pazzini. My name is Phil Poikia. I'm Beaver Deer. My name is Ronji. My name is Hedaita. Goloid Fi Toku Ingo. My name's Aroni Clark, and I want to encourage you to vote no to dope. Vote no. 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 Zealand is too precious. Far too precious. Way too precious. Aotearoa. It's too precious. It's too precious. It's too precious to be wasted. It is close, but pro-cannabis campaigners won't be handing around the joints. That's because the official result of the cannabis referendum shows just over half of Kiwis voted to keep it illegal. The majority of Kiwis are clear that they don't want to see 400 cannabis shops in New Zealand. I take a massively positive message. You saw even the really perversely named Say No to Dope campaign. I'm sorry guys, cannabis still exists. Well done. I think the electorate has spoken is that they are uncomfortable um, with uh, greater um, Legalisation, and I would say, interpreted as a decriminalisation of recreational cannabis. Uh, the New Zealand electorate is not ready for that, and I think we have to respect that. I want to pay uh, tribute to the Yes campaign. Uh, obviously, they'll be disappointed, and it's been a it's been a hard fought debate. That they're not going to be enlisted in a social experiment. Uh, because, frankly, we can leave that to the Canadians and the Americans. Look, when it comes to a referendum, a majority is a majority. And so it hasn't tipped the balance in terms of what we as a government will do. We gave our commitment to New Zealanders. If it won the majority, we would progress legislation. If it didn't, we wouldn't.